Hey so guys, Twenty Foot of Warrior here with the video on how to get the purple bow or the wind bow. And so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to head towards double tap and you're gonna need to shoot this wall I just shot. Now you do not need the lightning bow to do this, but uh the purple bow is the only bow that you can have an upgrade bow and an upgrade it with at the same time so as you saw I knifed that zombie on the uh, square and I had sword fray so that helped a lot after that you want to just follow this route picking up the skulls <clears throat> this is a full route it's the route that I take I, I feel it's the fastest there will be a couple of doors that I'll show you that are optional to buy, but uh, if you buy them, it'll take less time. <clears throat> okay, so right here would be the door, but it's one of the main ones that you have to buy to get to your power. It wants us to push on to complete our mission. This is a door that's optional to buy, you could just go around, and also this door right here is optional to buy, but that door may be open if you have someone in your game trying to get the wolf bow, because they don't want to go all the way around, and there's six skulls, and once you get all six, you want to go on to the next step. Now the only hard skull to get is really the one in teleport because you have to teleport there and teleport back, but it's not that bad. Alright, so here's the last skull, and I'm gonna move on with the steps. <coughs> So once you get all six skulls, you're gonna wanna kill or make crawlers on the skulls, and the skulls will kill them, kill the crawlers. But I stress this a lot. Make sure that when you kill that last crawler, you stay there and listen for the three words the uh, voice will say. To be words like horn, stag, crown, heart, griffin, door. Here's the last one, so I'll let you listen. Alright, so as you just heard there, we have griffin, uh, griffins. Stag and crown. Now you have to do these in order. So what I was remembering was I was remembering ribcage, bow, and fire. After you do that, you will start to kill zombies and they will drop these purple symbols that will go down to the room. You don't have to get all six, you only have to get the three that you need to uh, put in the code. And once you uh, put it in right, you'll say, that is my name. If you get it wrong, he will then say, that is not my name, and you need to get out of that room immediately. As you can see, this purple flame came up, so you want to hold square on it. It will give you the reforged arrow and like all the bows you're gonna bring that down to the box and get kills there simple enough <clears throat> the souls will go to the box just like on all the bows if you uh, did what I did and you had an upgraded bow while you're upgrading the purple bow 
once it's finished, you're gonna put it on its pedestal, get up top, grab the Wrath of the Ancients, regular bow, you're gonna melee, oh my gosh, you're gonna, after you get the Wrath of the Ancients, just head back to the arrow, put it in, and you have the purple bow. Uh, the purple bow is very good, but compared to the lightning bow, the super attack is not that fast. You can use it, but it won't kill all the zombies immediately, like you see there. The purple bow compared to the lightning bow is the ability does not react as fast as lightning bow. That's sort of how I died. But uh, it uses those skulls that you uh, fed crawlers and picked up, and yeah, it's a pretty good bow, and hope you enjoy using the purple bow.